Hello and welcome to Sorting Objects with Elsa and Mrs. Kelly, Session 8. Today we shall talk about sorting. Sorting is a very important concept. Children learn from their early years and into their learning journey in school. They learn how to sort things in their environment and world around them to bring organization and arrangement to things in their world and environment around them. They begin to sort using basic categories like shape, size, and color. And they begin to proceed on to more complex categories like texture and sound later in their learning journey in school. Sorting is concise, precise, and very analytical, and it is also the core root of algebra. So let us explore how we can do sorting and learn more about sorting in the slides ahead. What is sorting? Sorting is the ability to identify similarities and differences among a set of objects and to group and name them accordingly. This kind of organization is prominent in an assortment of disciplines, including math, science, and music. Sorting is systematic. It is ordering. It is comparing and contrasting. Sorting is matching, and it's also the very most basic form of algebra. For example, I sorted the objects below according to color. I put the purple objects in the left-hand column. I put the red objects in the central column. And I put the green objects in the right-hand column. So I sorted all these objects into three columns based on color. The purple column, the red column, and the green column. Let us explore the ways in which we can sort with Elsa. I can sort by shape. So I can group all the rectangles together, all the circles together, and all the triangles together because they're all the same shape and make three different groups based on three different kinds of shapes. Rectangular shape, triangular shape, and circular shape. I can sort by color. I can make three groups based on three different colors like blue, pink, and green. I can sort by size. These are big bears, medium bears, and teeny bopper bears. So I can sort them into three groups of big, medium, and small. In essence, sorting is putting things together that are the same color, shape, and size. Why children need to learn about sorting? Children have a natural desire to make sense of their world a world that often feels out of control to them. So it makes perfect sense that preschoolers are naturally drawn to sorting activities. They make matches and categories as a means to bring organization to what they know. Children continue sorting and classifying by organizing their understanding of language, people, and objects in their environment. This helps them construct an understanding of how the different parts of their environment relate, themselves, relate to themselves and to each other. Simply put, they're identifying similarities and differences, and it's a process too. It's this process that's a child's first step in the maths activities of matching, classifying, and sorting. How children learn to sort. Children begin to sort their, their by characteristics that have been having meaning to them, usually starting with characteristics such as color, size, and shape. They eventually move on to texture, sound, and other categories. Children then begin matching objects that have the same characteristics. Most children begin by matching concrete objects first, like blocks of the same color or buttons of the same shape, because they are developmentally easier. Then they move to matching pictures of puzzle pieces. Then the skills gradually progress in difficulty. Once a child is matching more than two objects, their sorting Sorting involves separating objects into groups according to their similarities, which means they're also noticing differences. Children may have their own ideas of how objects are related. Not only is that okay, but it is also encouraged. Preschoolers benefit from their own sorting activities and defining the terms of their sorting. Tips for teaching sorting. Michigan State University Extension says that in general, the processing of sorting involves three steps. Children decide which characteristics or rule to sort by. Children should physically sort objects. They will be able to describe their rationale or rule they use for sorting objects. Describing their rationale encourages children to think about other characteristics or sorting rules that they can sort by. Questions to ask while sorting. What can you tell me about these objects? Can you tell me how, to sort, how you sorted those objects? Is there any other way in which you can sort those objects? Can you tell me the sorting rule that you use to sort? Which side has more? 
which side has less. If you liked my video, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a nice day.